I said earlier that there were two aspects to these kinds of categorical claims. Now the first aspect is whether the claim is universal or partial. The first two A and E claims are universal claims. But the second two I and O claims are partial claims because they only say something about at least part of the members of a class. Okay, so just some of them, not necessarily all of them, are also members of the predicate class. So there's another aspect to these, and that is whether the claim is positive, also known as affirmative, or it's negative. Now this will be kind of intuitive. Um, so let's write out again A, E, I, and O. Now A claims, it's the first kind, and I claims, the third kind, are both positive. You'll find them on the left here. They don't have anything about no or not in them. They're happy. So we call them positive claims. This is also known as, like I said, affirmative. Some books will have it like that. Some authors prefer. Now, on the other hand, we've got negative claims, E and O claims. Now, unlike the positive claims, which say that there's something in common between at least uh, one thing with the different classes, so uh, there's at least one thing out there that's both an S and a P for an I claim. Okay, so it posits that there's that one thing. E claims and O claims being negative, they say that there is at least one thing that is not something that shares those two, those two properties in common. Okay, so they're going to exclude at least one thing from having those two, uh, two properties together. So in this case, the E claim, none of the subject class is also going to be part of the predicate class. So no potatoes are hairy animals. So there's no intersection between the two. For an O claim, some dinners are not filling meals. For that one, we're saying that there's at least one thing that's not in that intersection between the two classes. So there's some negation there, so it's considered negative. All right, now, next time we are going to look at Venn diagramming, just basic categorical claims. Um, but if you want to know, uh, well, if you already know that a claim is universal or partial, and you know that a claim is positive or negative, if you know which one of those it is for both of those, then you'll know which kind of claim it is. So a universal positive claim is an A claim. A universal negative claim is an O claim. Oops. is an E claim. Stay on your toes, people. Um, a partial positive claim is an I claim, and a partial negative claim is the trusty old O claim.